Yeah, boy. Welcome to another podcast. If you're tuning in for the first time, this is a sports betting channel where I discuss marquee matchups in the NFL, NBA, baseball, boxing, UFC, and tennis. I give my analysis and my opinion, and at the end of the video, I place a live bet. So I put my money where my mouth is. No one else out there does this but me. So the focus here will be the NFC Championship game between the number one ranked New Orleans Saints and the number two ranked LA Rams. This is an exciting matchup. The two best teams in the NFC, number one against number two. Both are coming off impressive wins. The Rams defeated the Dallas Cowboys 30-22. to In that game, Jared Goff only passed for 186 yards. He opted to hand the ball over to his running backs. CJ Anderson had a great game. He ran for 123 yards and two touchdowns. And pro bowler Todd Gurley ran for 115 yards and one touchdown. So... The Rams won their first playoff game in 14 years and are now in the NFC Championship game for the first time in 17 years. Now they're facing the New Orleans Saints, a dangerous team, okay? They're facing them for the second time this season. The Saints are coming off what I believe is the most impressive win of all for division games that were played last weekend. Drew Brees started out poorly. His first drive of the game, his first throw of the game, was a pick. And Nick Foles led a successful drive and put the underdogs, the Philadelphia Eagles, up 7 nothing. And then he did it again, and they were up 14 to nothing with four minutes left in the first quarter. Just think about that for a second. You've got the Super Bowl champions coming into your home up 14-0 in the first quarter. Most teams put in that situation would have crumbled. Okay, They, they would have been lucky to score a field goal and, and lose a blowout. But you've got Drew Brees on your team. All right, This guy is having a career season where he set an NFL record for completion percentage at 74.4%, breaking his previous record of 72% that he set in 2017. And he led the league in passer rating with a career high 115.7. Breeze wasn't going to let his team down. He didn't want his season to end, especially at home in the Superdome. And he led a comeback where the Saints scored 20 unanswered points. And that was a big ups to the defense of the Saints. So what happened was the Saints went up by 20 points. In particular, in the third quarter, and this to me was a huge testament to the grit and championship character of the Saints team. All right, so in that third quarter... Breeze led a 23-play, 11-and-a-half-minute, 117-yard drive, and they finally took the lead for the first time in the game. So that was a testament to their grit and their strength and their determination to play on, to get to the next game. In the fourth quarter... Will Lutz missed the 52-yard field goal with three minutes remaining, and that opened the door for Nick Foles to go on another drive, and he brought his team to the Saints' 30-yard line. He threw a pass intended for Alshon Jeffrey, but it was intercepted by Marshawn Lattimore. So both the offense played well, but the defense played even better. Okay, So they shut down the Eagles, and that play by Marshawn Lattimore capped the defensive abilities of this team. So the Rams now have to face this team, okay? The Saints team has their quarterback, a Super Bowl champion, a Super Bowl MVP. The last time the Saints were in this position, they went all the way and won Super Bowl 44, okay? They've got another opportunity to do this. Sean Payton and Drew Brees are 6-0 and at home in the postseason. They're going for their seventh win. 
Breeze just turned 40 on Tuesday. All right, he's not getting any younger. He's middle-aged now. He's not always going to have this opportunity. This may be his last opportunity to win a Super Bowl. In my opinion, I think I don't think he's going to slow down. I think he's going to push and he's confident now. He had his worst game last week, all right? He had a poor game. His first throw was a was a pick. His team was down 14 points early in the first quarter. And he survived and he won. So he's not going to have a poor start out. I think he's going to have a strong game this time. He's got Michael Thomas playing lights out. Thomas had 12 receptions and a franchise playoff record, 171 yards in that game against the Eagles. And the Saints have already beaten this Rams team. They beat them back in week nine when the Rams were 8-0, and an undefeated team with the hottest quarterback in the league the Saints won that game 45 to 35 Breeze passed for 346 yards and four touchdowns and Thomas finished with a club record 211 yards receiving and he had that 72 yard touchdown reception and the subsequent cell phone celebration that cost him $30,000 from the league so That game showed how confident this Saints team is. The fact that their wideout planted a cell phone on both posts. That guy knew he was going to win that game. I believe the Saints are going to win this game as well. They've got the leadership. They've got the experience. They've got the better quarterback. They're playing at home to the tune of a raucous Superdome crowd. They've got the better coach. They're coming off a signature win and they're playing and there's no pressure here. Remember, Breeze is the 40-year-old, right? The old guy. He's playing a 24-year-old, 2016 first overall pick quarterback. There's no pressure on the 40-year-old to win. The pressure's on the young kid. So the pick here is Saints minus three and a half. Now, if you look at my screen, You'll see that Bet Easy is offering odds of 203 for the Saints minus three and a half. I'm entering a stake of five thousand dollars. Okay, I've hit confirm. While that's pending approval, make sure to bet with your head. Surplus funds only. If you're gonna follow this pick, put money you can afford to lose. Money you're not gonna cry about. All right. What I'm doing here, I can afford to lose this. Also, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell. I'll be posting more videos and I'll be posting post-game review videos as well. Bets on, baby. Saints minus three and a half. Yeah, yeah.